Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another playlist and in this playlist I'm going to talk about React hooks which is actually very important to understand if you wanted to write a React application. So either you write a class based component or a functional component. You should have a good understanding about what React hooks is. This is something new in React okay and you should have a good end to end understanding how to use hooks in the functional components. So I can understand that till now how we are writing the functional component is simply writing the either anonymous function or simple function and we were just saying something like this. Here we were accessing the props dot name Right, this was our typical design of writing the functional component and these functional component what they were doing is they were receiving some data props data from the parent component and they were rendering the data in the JSX that's it what if we are able to manage the state in the functional component right what if we are able to write some kind of a lifecycle set of methods in the functional component so what if if we can give some power to the functional component so that we don't even need class based component. I mean it's my choice. I wanted to use functional component that then I can write end to end full application in functional component itself. So these things we are going to look at and primarily we will talk about hooks and the context APIs because these are the two concepts which actually which is making these functional component more powerful and with the help of that only we are able to write each and every component in the whole application just a functional component. I'm not saying that stop using class based components just use the functional component but now the difference is now functional component also can manage the state can have some kind of a life cycle mechanism can do all different things which you are doing with the class based components okay. So in the latest versions of react react released different features react hooks context apis uh, lazy loading all these are actually a uh, core features of the latest versions which is making these functional component more powerful primarily these different type of hooks which we have added hooks means earlier we were not managing state now we can manage the state earlier we were not able to fetch some kind of api data and manage that data through the lifecycle methods now we are able to do it there are different ways of managing the state now in these hooks using different kind of hooks which is provided like use state use effect use reducer use memo use reference okay these all hooks we have right so first what we will try to do we will try to understand the advantage of hooks why we should use hooks and what they are doing so First of all this you might understand that avoiding the class issues when we write a classes then we have to take care of uh, this context we have to bind the functions and we have to take care of the scope of this object. So if you are writing the functional component you don't need to do it. Now you are able to write the functional stateful components you are writing functions only but they are having their state right. And hooks allows you to reuse the stateful logic without changing your component. That is the most important. Okay. Now, what is the hooks? Hooks are actually 100% backward compatible. Hooks doesn't contain any breaking changes. Okay. Hooks provide a more direct APIs to the React concept, which we already know, which you already know, like React props, state, context, reference, and the lifecycle methods. In React classes, we have to do a lot of things to create reference, create the context, create the state. You have to do this dot state or in the constructor or state equal to some object in the constructor. You have to write lifecycle to manage the state. But in functional component, these are actually simplified. So the objective of creating these hooks for functional component is to simplify things which look little complicated with the classes. I will not say complicated, but yeah. Now these are much simpler than what we used to have. Okay, uh, separation motivations is these hooks are now capable of isolating the functional logic outside as a separate independent functions. You can write custom hooks and all right. Okay, classes motivations for example class doesn't minify very well but 
now you are writing just a functions so your packet size will also get reduced similarly first hook which we can talk it about is a huge state hook we have heard that functions or function co functional component are like dumb component that doesn't have a state they are just what they are doing is whatever you are providing in the props they are rendering that in the jsx that's it but now they can have the state they can actually have the state and whenever the state is getting getting changed they can re-render the the jsx for that component so we can use this huge state hook for it huge state hook will provide a mechanism where this example functional component can have some kind of a state count and you can update that count using set count okay so this is a long journey long different set of videos we are going to cover to cover all these different uh, hooks use state use effect use reducer use context use reference use callback use memo use effect in different varieties or we will write a custom hooks like use exos use fetch use local storage okay so we will write custom hooks hooks are nothing but it's just a simple vanilla functions if you are if you wanted to write a custom hooks now we already know the advantage that hooks and these new set of apis are making our functional component more powerful we can focus on our logic which we are writing we don't need to focus on the code because hooks is providing a lot of such features right now if we just see this from this example we can just write the state for this component is const count and you can use huge state hook and initialize the state with zero right and you can import it from you will be getting it from the same library this you are getting from react right now you actually initialize the count now you can have a click method on to this this is how we define and on the click method you can just increase the counter by simply doing a click method onto this and you can directly call this method where what you are doing is count plus one you don't need to worry about this dot state this dot prof this dot set state this dot force update all these things are gone for the functional component count was zero you clicked on set count you clicked on to this h1 tag or div tag it is updating the count to one here you can access the count also you don't need to use props dot count it's a state right you don't need to use this dot state the state variable itself is holding that state so you just need to put count here okay so there's a long journey we'll talk about these different ways of managing the state in the functional component in the coming videos this is just an introduction okay thanks everyone